everyone, this is Corina from Atelier Mico and today I'll show you how to create a 3D painting with a mirror chrome effect. In the description of this video you will find all materials that we used with a link attached. So first of all you'll need a canvas or as I used a really thin piece of wood. The dimension of this wood board is 20 cm per 100 cm and the thickness of it is somewhere around 3 mm. For the first step I take the wire mesh which has the dimension of 100 cm and somewhere around 40 to 50 cm. To model the wire mesh I use the glove so I will not get injured and I'll just start to model it as, as I like it. So to create the model I use a staple gun to place some parts of the wire mesh to the wood board. After you use the staple gun make sure you fold the staples on the back of the painting. The only rule here is to create something that you really like, so let your imagination run wild and create your desired model. So after you're done with the model, it's time to place the sawtooth hanger. For this I use the sawtooth hanger, the tooth screws and the drilling machine. I also use a small piece of plastic board so the hanger will stay really fixed on the wood board. Make sure that the drilling machine is placed perpendicular to the painting and apply pressure. Next, it's time to create the layer with the medical gauze and the wood glue. I usually add some water to the wood glue if it's too thick. So make sure you apply the gauze everywhere and add enough wood glue so the gauze will stick really good on the wire mesh. After you are done with the wood glue and medical gauze, you can let it dry or apply immediately the joint compound. Either way, it's good.
For the joint compound mixture, I just add the powder and the water and mix it until I get this type of texture. The proportion is about half-half and the mixture should not fall off of the putty knife. So mix it until you get a creamy texture but strong enough. So here is the first layer, I spread it with a brush but you can also spread it with the putty knife. So make sure you go in all area of the painting and spread it really well with thin layers. And after you are finished with the first layer of joint compound, you should let the painting dry for at least 24 hours. And now I use the paper sand to smoothen the area of the painting and the grid of the paper sand is 100. For the first layer of sanding it's recommended to use a rough sandpaper grid. And now I will apply the second layer of joint compound. I spread it with the putty knife and with the brush. So after I apply everywhere the joint compound in a thin layer, I'll use the brush and some water to smoothen the surface so it will be cleaner in the end. And after I'm done with the joint compound, I'll let it dry for at least 24 hours. For this painting, I only used two layers of joint compound, but if you feel the need to add one more layer, it's okay, you can do this. So to get a really nice and smooth finish, I'll use the sandpaper again, but this time the grit of the sandpaper is 220. And because I want the effect of this painting to be mirror chrome first of all i need 
to do a coat base and for this I chose to apply white acrylic but you can do this add white acrylic or you can add a primer it's up to you for me the white acrylic worked really well and I just added the acrylic with some water and spread it all over the canvas and I let it dry for let's say two hours and because we created a new collection the metal paintings I wanted the effect to be a mirror chrome and for this I used a spray and even though on the spray bottle it says to go above 20 centimeters from the painting I went with the spray bottle really close to the painting so the effect can be really nice and I applied it in two layers two layers on the back and two layers on the front of the painting And here is the result of the liquid mirror painting. We hope you really enjoyed the process and we would be really grateful if you'd like to subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment.